Hey everyone, this is Arcadius and welcome back to Naval Creed. Today we will be reviewing the second set of torpedoes for Tachibana. As previously mentioned, we are going to be going over some ships that we have already reviewed. However, there are like some additional torpedo sets, there are some uh, different main guns that you can equip. And so we'll be going through uh, those just kind of as a cleanup. So today we have already gone over the ship itself as Tachibana. But we do have the 5 kilometer torps that go 44 knots and have an extremely high rate of fire that we have not tried yet. So we are going to be using those and toss her into a game. Alright, and here we saw the game. Two battleships, one cruiser, and a ton of destroyers. Wow, that's a lot of destroyers. Okay, so remember, we only have the 5 kilometer torpedoes. However, they do, re do reload in 18 seconds, which is quite a difference versus the alternate set that we had. I do have health buffs and speed buffs applied. So let's see what we can do. A lot of Tachibanas. We have a Wakatake, a Samson, and two Novics. Not really worried about any of those, really. Our guns are pretty much going to be worthless. I do not expect big damage numbers for our guns. So we will have to be are using our torpedoes. This set is not the best set of torpedoes for the ship because you don't have the guns or just the torpedo power for a close-in brawl, like something like Samson or Nova can do. Uh, you really need to stay at range, and that's what those second set of torpedoes can do. But, I mean, you still can use these if you really want to. Okay, we detected. And we're just gonna start working over our guns. And this is pretty much what your gameplay is. As you can see here, your high school suit is still just shattering, kind of. So even then, you don't have a lot of good doing much good attempts. There we go. That might be enough for the first touch of button. Oh, yeah, you got one hit. Take that one. Awesome. So like I said, your torpedoes are not worthless by any means. But something at this kind of range, like a Nova, would be so much better. Because you have a double the torpedoes. You have guns that do a lot more damage and are actually effective. Yeah, so the ship is not meant for close range. So to be honest, I do not recommend these torpedoes at all. I mean, you certainly can if you really want to, but like I said, there's just better ships to do that way. Alright, so we do have some torpedoes out close from the Casa here. Hopefully they should have hit. She was in fact a lot of these. So sink her. It looks like you have to be really close for your guns to do any kind of damage. Alright, how are our torpedoes looking? Mm, they might hit. Hopefully they have enough range. Nope, they don't. Alright. So you can see how the a kilometer torpedoes will be a lot better for this ship, even if they do reload a lot slower. That is the drawback you will have. We don't expect high explosive to do much on anything larger than a uh, destroyer, so any damage here is actually pretty much just a bonus. That being said, I should have better luck on this guy's team. Yep, there we go. Still getting some shatters though. You're always gonna have some shatters.
All right, so now we're kind of brawling with these battleships, which is not the best idea, but I'm already here, and they're the biggest target, so I have the most chance of getting damage. Yeah, that's some pretty respectable damage. And with our fast reloading torpedoes, they're already back up again. So you can see your ship itself doesn't have that much health. I am being slowly worn out. And I'm not even able to sink these ships. I doubt I'm gonna survive, but we're gonna get as much damage as we can out of this. Right, so I do have my last torpedoes off. Alright, let's give a small profile so maybe we can survive. Alright, now we're undetected. We should be able to survive here with 280 health. And I do think she has a flooding, so she should go down to, to flooding. I'm going to keep the smoke in between me and her, though, to stay undetected. Until she goes down. Awesome. Now, we can't really do much now, though. But there's only two ships left. And they're pretty much already sunk. There goes one. And the Dresden should be going down here soon enough as well. So you can see these torpedoes are not the worst, but they're also not the best. I do like the rate of fire, uh, but their damages is kind of meh. Like I said, something with Novik would be able to do a lot better. You pretty much have the same kind of torpedo reload, except you get double what you usually have for a broadside. So I would have been able to put those battleships down a lot quicker, but it wasn't terrible. So let's see how we did. 116,000 damage, 4 ships sunk, 60 gun hits, 18 torpedo hits, 1 fire, 5 floodings for 3,500 base XP. We did 17,000 damage in high explosive shells, almost 17,000 damage in fires and floodings. We actually got quite a bit of flooding damage, wow. And then torpedoes, we did 82,000 damage and nothing else. So yeah, as you can see, these torpedoes are not terrible, however they're always not the best. I do recommend using these ones, even if you do lose some of your reload time. If you like the video, make sure you like and subscribe for further content, and join me tomorrow while we go over the second set of Wakatake's torpedoes. So again, thank you, and take care.